Yo, what's going on everyone? Shake and Make back, and today we get another pack opening, Road to Iverson, Episode 9. All gold packs. We're gonna do about 30k. I know I have 130k's worth, but we're not opening all that. That's a lot of VC, and I really want to save some. I want to kind of spread it out over the next couple days, because I feel like when I use it all at once, I don't get that much, and I know you guys, I mean, <laughs> you guys want to see big pack openings, I know that, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna try and spread this out over probably four pack openings and do 30k each time and see if we can get some more legends because I really want to get some more gold legends and a lot of people are always like wait why do you need more legends you have like 30 but I don't have the guys who I want to have yet I still am missing Chris Mullen Allen Iverson Dominique Wilkins and there's plenty plenty more Joe Dumars there's there's a massive list of guys I want. I want all of the bad boy pistons. I want all of them. Come on. But uh, yeah, there's just a massive list of guys I still want. So until I get them, I'm going to keep opening packs and we're going to keep trying to get Allen Iverson. Hopefully, oh my goodness. Seems like everybody's been getting him recently and I'm the only one who's not in the club. So it's killing me, but hopefully we can get him. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm just praying we can get him and that's all we can do is just keep spending VC, keep spending VC. Hopefully. I will get my 50k that's owed for me, owed to me, from uh, 2k. They still owe me like my VC because there's they were still working on adding it back to my account. They said I think a couple days ago they were like, oh, Bill Winnington. They said they added it to my account, and I went on and I'm like, all right, let's go check out the extra 50k VC, and I go on and wasn't there. Oh, that that that's sweet. You lied to me. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. I guess there was problems adding it. I emailed them back, and they're like, okay, well, I guess we'll have to look into this again. I mean, ugh, just ridiculous. It's, it's really ridiculous. Why can't they just add 50k to my VC, v, 50k VC to my account? I mean, it's clearly, you messed up. You, your game lagged. I didn't get my VC, so why don't you just give me my VC? I've shown you, like, all the proof. I've shown them everything, and it's just ridiculous how long it's taking them, but... Whatever, I mean, it was supposed to take 7 to 10 days, it's now taking about 15 days, so way behind the ball on that one, and I still don't have the VC, I'm still waiting, but I don't want to rant about that, like, that's, that's for another day or something, that's for the video when I actually get the VC, we'll rant about how long it took, but come on, give me someone good, ah, Terrence Jones, not really someone good, ah, man, we just, ah, oh, whoa, that Chicago Bulls home jersey, though, that is something good, and a lot of people are getting it now, it seems like, where it used to be like a rare item, and when I first got it, I didn't even know I had it. I, I got it sometime during the 50, uh, not the 50k pack opening, the 1 million k pack opening. No, what? Did I just say 1 million k? No, 1m, 1 million VC pack opening, oh my goodness. It's a little too early in the morning for me to be doing this, sorry. It's a little early, but it's, it's the day before... No, it's it's the day of. There we go. It's way too early, Cooley. <laughs> I should have done this later, but I, I wanted to get this up nice and early. Hopefully before noonish, and it should be around then. But uh, yeah, as I was trying to say before, it is the day of the finals game two, and I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I am really excited, man. Game one was, uh, it was so good for three quarters, and then the fourth quarter, the Miami Heat collapsed. And speaking of the Spurs, there we go. We get the AT&T Center. It wouldn't be a pack opening without it. But man, I I just I I was I was shocked at the other night because it's it was like the Miami Heat were were not dominating the game, but they were controlling it. I mean, the tempo was slowed down, but I just don't get how they played so bad in the fourth quarter. LeBron James was like, I think he only took like four shots or something like that. Or maybe he took like five, and he just didn't take that many. Chris Bosh was missing open jump shots, open threes. I don't even think he should be taking those shots, but, I mean, that, that's not my decision to make, all right? He thinks he's Ray Allen out there. Clearly, he's not. Ray Allen should have been taking more threes out there. Ray Allen was knocking him down in the first half. I thought they should have got him some more shots. Uh, D-Wade even looked pretty good. LeBron obviously looked good. LeBron was LeBron. Putting up massive stats, even though they lost. That's how it goes. And uh, man, he's been he's been he's been getting some flack. I'll tell you that everybody's been riding him, saying, "Man, you're not getting any help. What's up with this? You put up this massive triple double and you didn't win. What's going on?" And 
I mean, obviously that's expected in the finals. Everything you do is looked at under a microscope. And uh, Chris Boss especially, man. I, I just, he missed two big threes. Big, big, big threes. And he just, he, he wasn't even close, I'm pretty sure. But uh, he needs to step it inside the arc. I'm pretty sure he's shooting, what, like 30%? Not even. I think he's shooting like 28, 29%, which is that's really, really bad for a three-point shooter, and which he is not. So I'm not. I don't even know why I'm calling him a three-point shooter. He should be in the post. He should be in the low post, the high post. I mean, I'm fine with a high post jump shot, but a three there, uh, that's not your specialty. I don't know why he's trying to be Ray Allen. He needs to stop doing that. He needs to cut that out because it's just it's just annoying to watch, to be honest. Because oh, oh and let me clarify this for a second. A lot of people were wondering why I'm rooting for the Heat. Well, here's the thing. My Celtics, are they've lost. They're done. There is a 0% chance of them winning. Literally none. And speaking of Celtics, we get the Celtics playbook, but they're done. Like, there's no point in rooting for them. Some people have said, like, well, when my team's out, I just don't root for anyone. But that's boring. I mean, I'm not going to watch a sports game and not root for anyone, not cheer for a team. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to root for someone. Like, you don't sit there in silence and watch the game. You sit there, you, you cheer, you root, you talk about it. Like, you don't just sit there and go for the entire game. Just don't say anything. Nothing. Just sit here and don't say anything. Oh, they scored. I don't even care, though, because I'm not rooting for them. Like, <laughs> it would just be boring. Like, I don't watch a game not rooting for someone to win. So I picked the Heat. I think the Heat would win this series. I still think they do. I originally said six, but... Now it's looking pretty unlikely after that game one loss. But, I mean, I'm not going to really change my prediction. I mean, that was my prediction. I, I stick by it. I mean, it's probably going to be wrong. I can easily say that. But, whatever. I mean, the Spurs, they, they, they finished that game. They stuck with the game. It was so close the entire time. They never got down by such a big margin that they couldn't come back. And then I think it was with, like, about six or seven minutes left, they really just took over. LeBron James made two big turnovers again. And they tied the game, they took the lead, and from there on, it just seemed like it was over until Ray Allen got fouled. He missed some free, he, no, no, he made some free throws, I, sorry, um, this isn't the last series, I was a little confused there, but he did make some free throws, which did cut the lead, and then they got a couple more buckets, but it was just over when Chris Bosh started taking threes. They, they, they're leaving him open. You know there's a problem, Chris Bosh, when they're leaving you open. That means don't take the shot, pull up. Why doesn't he dribble in and take that two? Why? I don't understand. He's much better at that that high post elbow jumper than he is the three point jumper. I, I'm just I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Clearly, as you've heard from me ranting, but ugh, man, I just I, I don't get it. I don't get what he's trying to do. It just doesn't make sense to me. And oh whoa, we got a new goal legend, Walt Bellamy. I, I've actually played with this guy and. I'm not too excited. Let's just say that. He's not that great. Uh, he's got a good post hook, I'm pretty sure. And he's decent at rebounding, but he's really his stamina isn't the best. Seems like he was really slow when I was using him. I've used him in team up a couple times actually, and he's just he's not that great. He's he's alright, but he is he's not even really a gold center, I'd say. He's he's pretty low on the gold scale, so eh, whatever. But not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for Dominique or Come on, someone else. Mullins. I want Mullins so bad at AI. Uh, but Tony Parker hit a crazy shot, though. Let me give my props to Tony Parker, who has been the playoffs MVP. He has been wrecking people, ruining them. I mean, he dropped 40 on a bad ankle, I'm pretty sure. So, was it 40? I'm not sure if it was 40, but I'm, I think it was. But that was the last game to close out Memphis. And this guy is just, he is insane. That shot he hit... The most impressive thing was how he kept his dribble alive the entire time. That was fundamental basketball. I was so impressed by that. And originally, I didn't think he got it off in time until they finally showed the back angle, which they weren't showing. And I don't know why they weren't. And when they showed the back angle, he clearly got it off in time. And it was like, wow, I look like an idiot for tweeting out that he didn't get it off in time. But he, he clearly did. So, uh, big shot Tony Parker. I mean, he hits those clutch shots time after time after time, whether it's a three, whether it's a jumper coming off a screen, or a crazy circus shot from one knee. Like, oh my goodness, that was nuts. But I'm really excited for game two. Who do you guys think are going to win tonight? I'm, I'm obviously going to say the Heat. I picked them to win in six. And I mean, if they lose tonight, it's over. They're, I think they're going to get swept if they lose tonight. You cannot lose game two at home. You can't. You just can't. 
You lose tonight, you get swept, in my opinion. That's what's going to happen. So let's see if they can pull out a win tonight. Let me know who you're rooting for. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down below. Peace.